Okay, welcome everybody. The number one question I get on my YouTube channel is, why doesn't my code work? The answer to that question is, I don't know. I haven't seen your code. I don't know why it's not working. But here is one of the most common types of errors that I see once people do share their code and do share the error message with me. Indentation errors. Python uh, indentation counts. So that's called white space, and it has to be aligned correctly for it to work. So the first type of error we get is called tab error, inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in indentation. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And you'll see, it tells you tab error, inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in indentation. Oh my gosh. It tells you the line number. Oh my gosh. It tells you the actual line. So this is not a mystery. Okay, this is telling you exactly what the problem is. So if I go and I look at this, I know this is a bit of a wide tab, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. So I can see here, I'm using the left arrow and the right arrow, and my little cursor is moving left and right one space at a time. So that tells me these are spaces. If I go down to line 15, where the error is, I push right, it jumped, because this is a tab. Tab, spaces. Okay, to fix this, we just make it spaces. Okay, and I run that again. And there is the expected output. So you cannot mix tabs and spaces. That's, that's indented a little bit too far, doesn't need to be that far, but still the principle is the same. Again, I put this here, this is a syntax error. A syntax error means the program doesn't even run. You have done something against the Python rules, the Python gods are not happy, Python doesn't know what to do with your code. Okay, let's take a look at number two. This is another syntax error. Indentation, expected and indented blocks. So let me go ahead and run this. Okay, there's the error. Indentation error, expected and indented block. There's the line number, number 14. There's the line, oh my gosh. It's all laid out for you. So I'm gonna go take a look at line 14. And you can see here, I've got a for loop. And you've got a colon here at the end, that's a big clue. What that tells me is the next line must be indented. So now this line is inside the for loop. This line is outside the loop. So inside the loop, outside the loop. Inside the loop, outside the loop. I'm gonna keep it inside, and I'm gonna keep this outside the loop. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that, and run it, and we get the expected output. Okay, moving on. Number three, the last one was in, how can I put it, how did I put it? And you expected an indent and didn't get it. And then in number three, you got an indent, but you didn't expect it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. Are you seeing a pattern here? Indentation error, unexpected indent. There's the line number, there's the line. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, line 11. So I look at this statement. And I look before it, there's no while loop, there's no for loop, there's no if statement, there's no uh, defining of a function. So this should not be indented. So I'm gonna go ahead and run it again. And we're getting the expected output. Okay, now, those were syntax errors. So those are errors that, again, the program just doesn't run at all. You've got to fix those before you can even run the program. The next two errors are what we call logic errors. So in this case, the program actually runs, but the output or it just doesn't do what you expected. So for example, in English, if I say the bone ate the dog, okay, grammatically it's correct. It doesn't break any English rules of grammar. It just doesn't make sense. That's not what we mean. Of course, we mean the dog ate the bone. So same thing here. Um, in this program, I want the output to be exactly the same as it was for the other three programs. But when i equals 5, I want it to print the word 5. Okay, I know, great example, fantastic stuff. So I'm going to run it. And you can see now, it's not printing i equals 1, or i equals 2, or i equals 3. Okay, the reason is that we over indented. So this line here should not be indented. It was accidentally indented. So that's causing a problem. So let's run that. And now you can see I get the output that I expected. I see this, this a lot of times with, with 
uh, viewers on my YouTube channel where they'll do something like this. Define move left as a function and then they'll have some code and then they'll put define move right and then they'll have some you know code here again oops I forgot the colon and the problem is because this is indented it doesn't get registered into you know in this usually it's the global space that it needs to be registered in at least in the basic tutorials I've been doing so this needs to be pulled over so that these are lined up correctly. Generally speaking, you don't define something inside of something else, or you don't define a function inside of a function, generally speaking. Okay, so let me uh, delete that. And the last one is basically the opposite. So in this case, this was indented, but it shouldn't have been. In the last case, we're gonna have something that is uh, indented that shouldn't have been. I guess maybe it's the same case, oh my gosh. Um, so let me go ahead and run this. I'm going to change that from 10 to 5. 5. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you can see here we've got the end, the end, the end, the end, the end, the end. Okay. Again, that is clearly not what we wanted to happen. So the reason that's happening is because this was indented and it shouldn't be. So I'm going to go ahead and run that. And you can see now it functions as we want it. Okay, syntax errors are very very or should be very easy to figure out for the most part again you'll see an error message pretty pretty detailed you'll see a line usually the line is pretty accurate okay there are some there are some times when it isn't quite accurate it's off by one or two um, but that's probably for another video uh, so you can't run the program at all okay it basically tells you what the problem is where it is and which line it is logic errors are a lot harder you have to figure out, oh my gosh, it's, it's not doing what I want to do. So what's happening and what isn't happening, what is happening? You have to look through the code and figure out where that problem is coming in. Again, if you're not getting a syntax error, check your indentation. A lot of times that is where the problem comes in. Okay? Uh, again, it's an art. It's not necessarily a science. You do get a feel for these things. And once you start coding a lot more, you will learn to debug your code a lot faster. So uh, if you have these types of errors, I hope this video is helpful to you. Good luck. Keep on coding. Subscribe for more. Thanks.